Shalom. Before we get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Ha'ra Kakwadash. Double honors to my old apostles, the Great Millstone, who only teach well. And honors and salutations to the Ark, my Great Millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Shalom. Okay. And um, in this video, we're going to be going into an article. All right. That uh, beloved brother of war posted. Okay. And I'm about to go into it, and Lord willing, it's edifying. All right. It says, uh, got heat, question mark, Polish households burn trash for heat as Western sanctions against Russia deprive Europe of energy. Okay. And this title is saying a lot. Okay. There's a lot of precepts that you can uh, pull out just on this, this title. Okay. Because th this, this is coming. All right, the uh, the scriptures say, "Woe one to them that dwell dwelling on the earth." Okay, so that's the whole earth, you know. The Lord, the Lord is gonna bring uh, plagues uh, on the whole earth. Okay, lamentations, mourning, and woe on the whole earth. Okay, so these things, these evils, is not just gonna happen to Babylon, the Great America. Okay, <clears throat> it's gonna happen. Uh, uh, to this whole dragon, to the NATO and the EU, all right? And you already know Babylon the Great America, okay? Because Babylon the Great America sits on top of that uh, that red scarlet dragon, okay? Having seven heads and uh, ten horns, all right? So the Lord is coming, the Lord is about to take this, this, this devil down completely, okay? Uh, way better, man. They got the um, trash, man. Yeah, there's always something. As soon as you just want to do a sit down, that's when they. Uh, well, fuck it. Let's keep it going. All right. So it says, got heat. Polish households burn trash for heat as Western sanctions against Russia deprive Europe of energy. All right, now, cool. It says this, and this was Sunday, October 16, 2022. Okay. It says this article may contain statements that reflect the opinion of the author. Bypass censorship by sharing this link, blah, blah, blah. Let's get it on. All right. It says natural news as cheap Russian energy runs dry due to Western sanctions. Okay. And this, this is more wood in the fire. Russia is not going to uh, tolerate this, you know. Russia is going to fight fire with fire. All right. It says the people of Poland, the latest country to make energy crisis headlines, are now resorting to burning trash for heat. All right. And who are they going to blame? They're going to blame America. All right. Babylon the Great. All right. It says circulating images see great game India. Show large plums of black and brown smoke billowing from homes and filling the sky with stinky smoke as poles struggle to stay warm with winter approaching. All right. <clears throat> and what you're seeing happening over there is going to happen over here, too. OK. You know, a dark winter is coming to a city near you. All right. So it's this multiple, multiple precepts, you know, uh, that you can pull on this. And we're going to get into uh, some of them, you know, <clears throat> try to keep it uh, quick, quick and uh, short and sweet. All right. Yeah. And that's why the Lord got to kill, you know, two thirds of our people because they don't, you know, they don't consider Sada's children. You know, they love working for the white man, you know. This is hell. We're in fucking hell, bro. So it says, um, under normal circumstances, Poland would not allow the burning of trash like this because of all the pollution generated. All right. The time coming, they're not going to be worrying about that. You know, it's going to be straight about survival. All right. <clears throat> everybody, all this, uh, everybody's going to become brute beasts, you know. No one's going to be civilized in the days to come. All right. So it says, 
It says the country's leaders have created special exemptions in this case. It says because this is their idea of sticking it to Vladimir Putin. Instead of allowing Putin to clean up Ukraine with his special operation, uh, Poland and, and its NATO bed buddies are destroying themselves by refusing to buy Russian energy. All right. And this this is due thanks to Babylon, the great America. All right. And look, look how look how see how they trusting in America got them. It got them fucked up, you know. This is why those those ten horns shall hate the whore. Okay. All right. So it says instead of allowing Putin to clean up Ukraine with his, his special operation, Poland and its NATO bed buddies are destroying themselves by refusing to buy Russian energy. In the end, it will be Poland that collapses, not Russia. All right. <clears throat> and we know Russia is going to win this World War Three because the Lord is using uh, using Gog, all right, Gog and Magog, the Medes, that's talking about Russia, okay? The Lord is using them. They're the ones that are going to win this war, you know? And the Lord is going to destroy them as well. The Lord coming to take down all the superpowers of the earth, all right? The Lord is coming to completely take down this beast system and the rulership of the white man, okay? So it says... Uh, it says related Germany is now burning Chinese virus face masks for warmth alright to ease the biggest energy crisis in a generation uh, Poland has temporarily waived uh, air quality regulations so their residents can burn coal for home heating till next April great game uh, idea India reports Polish houses are burning more coal and wood to count, counter the rising prices of electricity and natural gas. But some people are also burning trash to remain warm. Okay? And this is... Uh, hyperinflation is, is going to hit the whole world. Okay? <clears throat> hyperinflation is going to hit the whole world. All right? And it says... Uh, early, early autumn temperatures in Europe are still fairly mild. What happens when winter arrives? Shit, it's gonna get way worse. <laughs> you know? This is this is the beginning, okay? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Okay? It says Polish citizen uh Paulina Marokowska told Bloomberg that the lack of Russian gas caused by Western sanctions against Russia have made it next to impossible to live apart from such drastic measures as the burning of trash. It's so bad this season that you can smell trash burning every day, which is completely new. Okay, A resident of the capital city of Wa Warsaw said, rarely can you smell a regular fuel. It's scared to think what happens when it really gets cold. Okay. <clears throat> Keep in mind that this is just the beginning of Europe's cold season. We are barely in autumn, and after all, and temperatures are still fairly high. What happens once temperatures drop to freezing or below freezing in the upcoming months? Okay. And that's going to bring about a lot of death. Okay. It says, Law and Justice Leader uh, Gerald Sla, who is recognized as Poland's most powerful pol a politician made this suggestion last month that Poles should find whatever they can to burn for heat. So we, we pretty much get the point. All right. So we get the point. I'm going to read this. It says, uh, uh, Europe and the entire global economy are burning to the ground. Okay. To keep up with the latest. All right. And that's it. And this is all prophecy. So now let's, uh, make sure we're rolling. 
get to the precepts. This Habakkuk, uh, I'm going to read it all the way to my jump to the point. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. This Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he was saying to me and what I should answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. All right. And all, all that is, is the Lord sent his prophets on the earth. OK, beginning with the elder apostles, of great millstone. All right. And we, we break down the truth. We make the prophecies and the scriptures plain to understand. And only the elect is going to the one third is going to uh, understand. OK. It says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry away for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's what we say. Hey, you know, uh, just because things is not uh, all out chaos right now, you know, doesn't mean it's, it's not going to be in the near future. You know, you got to you got to do your research for yourself. Don't just listen to us and be like, yeah, yeah, y'all right. But uh, I don't think, you know. They'll, they'll, they'll have their own opinion. I don't think World War III will happen. I don't think a famine will happen. I don't think an EMP attack will happen. They, you know, they're, they're just focused on that American dream. But if you were actually, like, research and, you know, look this stuff up, you'll be like, damn, I ain't knew all this was going on in the world, you know, because you're asleep, you know. Babylon, the great America, these elites, they want you to be asleep, they don't want you to know what's going on, you know? They don't want you to know uh, that they're the ones starting that chaos to bring about a new world order, you know? They're, these devils is about to starve you people out, you know? Freeze you people out. About to fuck over y'all, okay? It says, uh, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgressed about wine, he is a proud man. And that wine is talking about his, his uh, going into his philosophy. You know, his, his uh, the laws that he enforced throughout the whole world. You know? Because right now, it's, you know, Job 9 to 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right? So it's, it's, we can all agree the white man is ruling the world. All right, and we see how he's the condition of the world since he's been running it, uh, since he's been ruling it. You know, it's it's been all going to shits. You know, so with the with the power of the pen, we just see Esau. He he got he got the military power. He got that teeth. You know, to back up uh, his his the shit he say. You know the shit he, he the shit he can talk big shit. You know. The white man can talk big shit because he can back it up. You know, he's he, he's he's the superpower of the earth right now. OK, so he can pass whatever laws he want and he can break them. He can enforce them on the other nations of the earth and then take and then one minute, just sw switch it up. You know, and these other nations uh, that's a part of this EU, they fed up with America, but they, they know they can't they can't just America just. Wipe them off the face of the earth if they try to, you know, fight back. But guess what? Now there these other nations, they're going to ban, ban with Russia. They're bare. Okay? And all these all these uh, weak nations, you know, they're going to allow, uh, you know, Russia to set up nukes on their land, their property, you know? And they're going to join forces with Russia. And they're, they're going to, uh, they're going to, team up to fight against Babylon the Great America. Okay? So this this World War Three it will happen. It's prophecy. That's said the Bible. There's nothing you can do about it. You can you can keep you even if uh uh America was to like, okay, we, let's take all these sanctions off. You know, that's still not gonna work. You know, you didn't you didn't went too far. You know? You didn't went too far. And these nations really don't like America at the end of the day. You know, <clears throat> they just, they just, they tolerate America, deal with America. All right. 
So it says, uh, it says, yay, also because he transgressed by one. You know, that goes into, uh, you know, America's doctrine, philosophy, you know, his laws. They're wicked. It's, it's not, you know, it's not righteousness, you know. Just just look at this, the white man's rulership, his history, how he even got into power. You know, none of it is, is righteous. The way he deals with the other nations, you know, the way he creates uh, viruses on the earth, so forth and so forth. You know, this is not righteousness. This is not upright. You know, this this can't be uh, uh, who the who the who the Lord, who the Lord looks like, you know, because do you know, to the Renaissance period and Esau, the so-called white man come back into power, he painted the most high as himself. And the children of the Most High as Himself, you know. So if this, if they claim to be the children of the Most High, it's like, why are they doing all this evil on the earth? They can't be the, the people of the Most High, you know. And it, it, that's just go to common sense. But people, uh, our people, two thirds of our people that are spiritually discerned, you know, they can't see. It's not given to them to see, you know. So it says, uh, okay, it says, he is a proud man, neither keep of at home, who enlarge of his desire as hell, and is as deaf, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and heap of unto him all people. Right, you know, America is bullying the whole earth. That's basically what's going on. And don't give a fuck. Okay. It says, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increase of that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid of himself with thick clay. You know, like how the fuck you going to come into their land, their their sovereignty, you know, and set up an embassy over there and try to run their shit. You know, like who do you think who, you putting sanctions on other superpowers of the, of the earth, on other countries? You know, you're trying to control, uh, uh, you know, you're trying to play in their background, in their backyard. That's total disrespect, you know. That's why our scriptures say America is more stout than its fellows, you know. <clears throat> it says, uh, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increase of that which is not his. How long and to him that laid of himself for thick clay. <laughs> You know, so even the other nations, you know, they they in that that spirit of how long, like they tired of America, and they about to show how tired they is. They about to shoot them ICBM missiles over here, them nuclear missiles. Okay, that's taking it far. You know, and it, they know they know like okay, if we we reach this nuclear st level, it's gonna be no survivors. They don't give a fuck, you know. Russia, hey, Russia don't give a fuck. They with that. They with the shits, you know. The Lord put that, put that, he got that old spirit back in them. You know, that USSR uh, spirit back in them. It's, it's, it's whatever, you know. Hey, and they, they going at it, uh, Russia and Ukraine, they going at it right now. You know. So this is, is, is ev it's inevitable World War Three is inevitable, if I'm saying it right. Like off of uh, the Matrix, <laughs> when the dude said, uh, "It's in," I forgot the uh, one of the um, the guys in the Matrix that he he multiplied himself, like he he turned himself into a million people and shit, and he was after uh, Neo. You know, he said it's inevitable. You know. So it says, uh, it says, and to him that laid of himself with thick clay, that thick clay goes into debt. All right. America is in deep debt. You know, economy is, is shits. All right. Babylon, the great America, owes these other countries uh, buku, you know, buku money. All right. 
So you see how America then fucked over these other uh, countries, you know, then fucked up their economy, you know. So it says, uh, shall, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Booties is to spoil. You know, think of it as a, a pirate. You know, when a pirate, when they're sailing the sea and they see another boat, you know, they 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 go take they go take the booties. You know, they spoil it. You know, <clears throat> they whip out their cannons and they get the bussing. You know, suddenly, you know that's that's on sight. When something suddenly arise, that's on sight. You know. So it's it's, it's we can't wait. You know. <clears throat> This is the faith and the patience of the saints, for real, you know, because like we know these are prophecies that these are the like last prophecies. And before this happened, they got to uh, make the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, mandatory, you know. So we know once that RFID chip, the mark of the beast is enforced and made mandatory. OK, then we know, OK, World War Three, uh, that nuclear is going to hit that nuclear phase. Okay, that's when they're gonna start shooting missiles uh, through the heavens, through the sky. All right, it says, uh, "Because thou hast spoiled many nations, and all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee." It says, and that's what America has done. America has spoiled, rape, robbed, and murdered other countries. You know, first and foremost, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know. America has, has spoiled the hell out of us. Okay? <clears throat> you know, the blood of the Israelites, you know, cover this whole land. You know? And let's prove that, that uh, let me go to Obadiah. This Obadiah one, uh, 1 and 10. Wait, let me see something. Could read all of it, but I'm a I'm gonna read ten. Okay. This Obadiah Obadiah one and ten, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So this is why World War Three is happening. You know. The Lord is, is, is avenging. The Lord is the true avenger. Yahweh Shah is the true avenger. He's avenging his people. Okay? You know? That shows you how much the Lord uh, love us. It's Luke 1 and 68. The Lord is doing all this for the Israelites, for his people. Take that into uh, consideration. Uh, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to jump down. Wait, it's like, I mean, 168. All right. This is Luke, Luke 1 to 68. Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. And the Lord, he's, he's visiting the earth. We're going to get that precept. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Okay? And that's what the Lord uh, is going to do. Is it good? This uh, it's another one in second measures I'm gonna get. Oh, oh, you gotta use that one. No, the other one. Yeah. This um, this Isaiah Isaiah twenty nine and six. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flaming of devouring fire. Okay, let me click on this. 
All right. Uh, verse seven. And the multitude of all the nations that fight. Oh no, nah, it's not yet. That's it on that. Okay. I'm gonna read it again. Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yehovah, with thunder, with earthquakes, great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire. Okay? What's that with storm and tempest and the flame of the divine fire? Okay? Because that's that's how the Lord is going to uh, plead, plead with our flesh. You know, the Lord is going to use these nuclear missiles. The Lord, he's causing World War III. And the Lord is going to use this fire from, from these chariots, so-called UFOs. Okay? That's how the Lord is going to visit the earth. All right? Bury me. All right. There's a. I'm gonna end it off on this. Yes, Second Ezra's fifteen and five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, and death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. So, and like I said in the beginning, you know, the Lord is, this, this, this is about to come on to the whole world. Famine, death, and destruction. No electricity. All right? But the only ones that's going to be in good case is the, uh, the servants of Yahweh Bashem El Shah. Those are the only ones that are going to be uh, in, 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 in good case. So we serve the, that's why you should serve the Lord with fear and trembling because we don't know if we're going to be saved. We hope. We do things by faith, not, you know, we do things by uh, faith, not by sight. Okay? That's the, that's the difference between the, the whole field elect and uh, the rest of the uh, two thirds of our people, you know? Because our, our people, they, they, they want to see it. You know, they'll be like, uh, Show me, show me in the Bible where it says, uh, uh, so, uh, sodomy, sodomy is, uh, you know, this, this is something that actually happened. That's why I'm, I'm uh, I ain't gonna go too deep into it, but, you know, this, uh, two third, two third Israelite in the world, you know, and, uh, they, 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 they don't have no faith, you know, they don't, you know. They don't have that, that. And then when you break, when you break bread with them, and you break it all the way down to the the simplest comp compound, they still don't get it. That means it's not give, it's not it, it's not given to them to believe in in, in this word. You know. But there's some uh, two third to say. You know. Uh, show me in the Bible where it says uh, sodomy is uh, anal sex. You know, you'll break it down to them and clearly show them, okay, you can't, uh, you can't fuck your woman in the ass, in the asshole. You know, that's, that, that goes back to so Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodomy. Okay. That's not something hard to grasp, you know, and you'll, you'll go, you'll go, go the distance with them and they'll still, they still won't get it, you know, but hey. They, you know, the un. Wait, let's go back to it. We're gonna end it off on uh, the second Ezra, second Ezra fifteen and four. It says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." Exactly. You know, so if if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. So with that, I want to end it off and give all praises, praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Ha'wakakwadash. And double honors to my elder apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well. And honors and salutations to the Akram, great millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners. These last days, Shalom, Ababa, and Kwam Yashallah.